Welcome to the channel, Painting the Patoot here, with a video on insurance. Should you insure or not insure? That is the question. So to start with, what is insurance? When you go into a PMC raid, you'll be shown this screen, and it'll have all your equipped items. And at that point, you can decide to insure your item or not. If you insure it, go into the game, are killed. If nobody comes and takes the item off your body, then you'll get it back. That is somewhat worthwhile. Um, if somebody takes it off your body but then is killed by someone else, you'll still get it back. Um, if you're doing a backpack, of course, you'll only get the backpack because that's all you're insured. All the lovely items in the backpack don't come with it. So just keep that in mind. So, um, should you insure? Uh, it's a good question. Usually, uh, we had a wipe in December. Around the wipe time, I don't insure because everybody's running with no good gear. They're going to pick up your stuff. Now, here we are near the end of January, almost into February. If you were to start the game now, most of the players are past the level that they want low-end gear. So you'd be starting with low-end gear, and you would be highly likely to get it back. So in that case, it might be worth it. Right now, I'm at level 29. I rarely insure stuff. It's not worth it for the money. Mainly, I can buy it. Um, I'm often running good gear so that if I get killed, somebody is going to take my stuff. So again, the chances of getting it back are low for me at this point. So, back to the original question. Should you or should you not insure? My answer is, this is what I do. I will do certain items. So, here is an example. Body armor, I am not going to insure. One, because it's going to cost me 10000 to insure it. If I die, this armor is probably going to be horribly torn up. I would have to then repair it. And repair costs are huge. So by the time you add the 10K to insure it, plus probably another 25 to repair it, you're up to almost the cost of getting a brand new piece of armor, and after repair, it won't be as good as what it is right now of 47 of 47. So I don't um, do body armor. I will do shotguns, the MP153 and this one, because they're big. And a lot of players just don't have room or don't want to give up the room to take them out in their backpack. So they'll leave them. So the chance of me getting it back are high. So that's why I did this shotgun. The earpiece, it is a popular item, but it's not something that people will want to do donate or put a lot of space in their backpack to take it. Same as the helmet. The helmet is a, not the greatest helmet. So again, people probably will leave this. So I've done the items that I think I will get back, and that's what you should do too. All right? Um, so what you have to do then, again, is you have to make a little mental calculation about how much it's going to cost you to insure something and look at the price of purchasing new. So this shotgun costs 10 k as well, to insure, it costs 35 to buy. Well worth insuring it, risking the money. I have enough money to risk, so it's worthwhile doing it. So that's what I did. Um, the other thing to note is there are two people you can insure stuff with. There's Praypor and Therapist. Um, so what's the difference between the two? I pretty well always do Praypor. Uh, the difference is um, Praypor is slower in returning your items once you've been killed. He costs less, though, so it's worthwhile. So notice that it's uh, 10 if I use Praypor. If I go to Therapist, it's 13. So she's more expensive, but she does give it back to you quicker. And both these guys will keep your gear for only a limited amount of time, and then they sell it on you. So Praypor only will keep stuff that he's brought back for four days, and the Therapist will keep it for six What's that mean? That's like if you, so if you died, pray poor again, he's slower. He's uh, 24 to 36 hours before you'll see it back. So that's, let's say 24. So that's um, the next day. It's back. 
You then have four days to claim it off him. If you don't, he'll sell it. So if you're going to go away on vacation for a week, you shouldn't be insuring stuff bef before you go away because it's going to be returned to you during your vacation and you won't be there to claim it because you, or if you don't log in to Tarkov every day or every two days or whatever, um, it's not worth insuring because they'll bring stuff, they'll, you'll get a notice down here in message that they've returned, found your item. If you don't claim it, go into the screen and claim it, then they, so there's an insurance re return right there. Um, if you don't go in and reclaim it, I have in this case because it says received, then they'll sell it on you. So you've totally lost your money. So that's something else to keep in mind. So there you go. That's my opinion. Um, I only insure certain items. I only insure, um, I don't insure very close to a wipe. I only insure once we're past the wipe. I always look at how much it's going to cost to repair and consider stuff like body armor takes damage that has to be repaired. And those are the items I do. And I never go in and just simply uh, select all because you're going to collect, cover a bunch of items that will probably get stripped. Guns get stripped. Uh, another item is backpacks. If you're doing the smaller scav backpacks, you can all, always get them back. So they're worth insuring. So if you find this information rambling as it may be useful, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, enjoy the game. Thank you.